We have many developments to share with you this uh, hour, including word the city of Gori ha is apparently falling under Russian control. Russia has also seized a military base in western Georgia. All of this opening up new fronts in the fighting that began when Russia moved in tanks. Today, when we arrived and news came that Gori was being shelled, I saw my footage. I said, that's not Gori, that's Tim Valley. Having crawled through the length and the breadth of Tsin Valley, I don't need much to tell from which point this or that footage was recorded. I can swear in front of any tribunal. I can point at this location on the map of the town because I am the cameraman of the Rossiya channel videotaped that. It is 50 meters away from the entrance to the territory of the peacekeepers. Those guys who every move is regulated by the UN were all killed. The Georgians shot up their entire battalion. When we were leaving, there were 20 or 25 boys there, each with seven cartridges left in their magazines. In four hours, we got a message that there were no cartridges anymore. Nobody lets journalists work. The moment we go on air, reporters of Channel 1, Channel 2 or NTV, artillery starts shelling our site. We're lucky there were no cowards around and nobody's tears hindered our work. I would borrow a camera from my colleagues and we would share the footage afterwards. That's how we worked. We worked in crews of two or three. They would get you out in case you're wounded. Yes, I was scared, but it's our job. The military's job is to defend their land and our work is to produce news.